Learned behaviour is based on experience. It is acquired only through observation, so it wouldn't be present in animals raised alone, without others of their species to observe, and it isn't coded in DNA. Individuals learn a behaviour if they have previously gained a benefit from the behaviour, and a learned behaviour can be improved and refined through practice. When you hear the school bell ring and you go to your lesson, you are performing a learned behaviour. When you hear the bell, you know it signals that it's time to go to your next class because you have learnt to do it, by repeating the same action in response to the stimulus so you won't get in trouble. Learned behaviour is different throughout the population and is affected by the environment. For example, a dolphin can learn to perform and jump through a hoop. This behaviour has been affected by the dolphin's environment. It has been taught by a trainer and it knows that if it jumps through the hoop it will receive a reward. A wild dolphin wouldn't necessarily know to jump through a hoop if presented with one. Learned behaviour has five characteristics. It is non-inheritable, so it isn't passed on from previous generations. It is only acquired through observation or experience. 2. It is not intrinsic, so absent in animals raised in isolation from others. 3. It is permutable. This means that the pattern or sequence may change. The order of things might swap around. 4. It is adaptable, so it can be changed to suit conditions. And 5. It is progressive, so it can be performed and refined through practice. Habituation is a type of learned behaviour. If an individual is repeatedly exposed to a stimulus, the response decreases and the individual becomes habituated. In other words, you get used to it and you learn to ignore the stimulus. This can happen when wild animals continually come into contact with humans. Over time, their frightened flight response will decrease. This process is called habituation. Imprinting is another type of learned behaviour, where a very young animal fixes its attention on the first thing it hears, sees or touches. The animal then follows the object around, which is usually its parent. So, to recap. Learned behaviour is not inherited. It is not intrinsic, so it wouldn't be present in animals raised in isolation. It may change over time and adapt or improve, and sequences might change. Learned behaviour is learned from other individuals, the opposite of innate behaviour.